the top of 530, a massive tree crashing down on a park van in Miami. And the owner is really upset about it. In fact, he says he's been trying to get the city to take down this tree for years. Local 10's Alex Finney is joining us live. She's at that scene with the story. And what a mess, Alex. What a mess, Christy and Louie. We're going to hear more from that owner in just one moment because he says that it has been a back and forth battle for quite some time. Well, we know that this area has since been cleaned up, as you can see behind me here. Obviously, that tree falling several hours ago. But here's the aftermath, the tree falling right onto that van. And boy, oh boy, it was quite a process to clean up. A giant tree fell on top of the van Thursday. A 311 call came in. Crews dispatched to Southeast 13th Street, right off of 16th Avenue. We just hear a crash, and we see that this huge tree, the six-year-old tree, fell on top of, of a, um, the, the neighbor's van. Meet the neighbor, an owner of that van, who has a bone to pick with the city. I reported this in the city so many times. I reported for years. He said he had been calling the city for three years to let them know that the tree was vulnerable, ridden with termites. But according to him, nothing was ever done to fix the issue. Now I don't have the van, I don't have the tree, because the city very happy. He went on to say that he was shocked and frustrated with what he saw. The city now looking into exactly what the root cause was in all of this. We don't know what caused it, but most importantly, nobody was hurt. And of course, that is the most important thing. Nobody was injured in all of this, but still a lot of questions for residents that live across, uh, live along this very quiet street here in the Shenandoah neighborhood. A lot of people wondering the stability of a lot of the other trees along here, of course, giving quite a beautiful tree canopy, but of course, safety is top of mind. We do know that investigators will be going through those 311 calls as they continue to look into all of this. For now, this is the very latest live in the Shenandoah area. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.